This is our fun video of the week and as you can tell from the title, we are Disney bounding. This video is going to tell you not only what Disney bounding is, but how you can do it working from home. As many of you know, we are in a pandemic and uh, it has closed down many things that we love. One of those things being Disney World slash Disneyland. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big Disney buff. If you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're also a Disney buff. Um, as you can see, I'm in my Disney pajamas. A lot of us are quarantined at home, but now we're sort of months into this quarantine and we're having to find ways to be a bit more inventive and exciting with quarantine. So I thought a fun way to kind of bring some fun to your work week would be to Disney bound. And Disney bounding is something that's actually been going on probably for years, but it wasn't really coined until 2011 by a lady called Leslie Kay, who started a Tumblr blog and um, just described what Disney bounding was. So a little history of it is, is that Disney, the Disney parks do not allow regular, regular civilians to go into the park dressed in costume um, because they feel like it might, might confuse uh, patrons who go um, if they think that that's you know the actual employee who's dressed as a princess or prince etc so disney banding kind of came out of a way of wanting to express your favorite character but doing it in a way that wasn't costumey Technically, you could go to your local mall in a Disney bounding outfit. And unless you're a big Disney fan and you put two and two together, no one really knows. Like, it's not costuming. So I thought a fun way of getting through the work week would be to curate work from home outfits that kind of resemble some of my favorite Disney princesses. So Disney bounding, and I'm sure I will have shown you some examples by now, but Disney bounding is literally taking Ariel and saying, okay, she wears a purple um, uh, seashell bra and she has a teal tail. So I'll get a teal pair of jeans and I'll get a purple top and I'll wear that. And you, that can be as simple as Disney bounding as you want to go. And some people can go really in depth and they can they're all the Disney characters, even the obscure side characters, even have people who Disney bound. So Disney bounding is not something that is specific to women. It is women, men and everyone. And it's any character from Disney. It's even kind of like, not even kind of, it's even spread into different things like Harry Potter. Like you can Harry Potter bound, if that makes sense. So that is essentially the history of Disney bounding. It just allows you to dress like your favorite characters. And so I thought this would be really fun because I have chosen four princesses. So we are going to get into the work from home Disney bound outfits. And I'll show you the side by side comparison of the princess that I chose. And I would love to know down in the comments if before I revealed the picture of the princess, if you were able to guess exactly which princess I was. So let's get into it. One day my prince will come. Be my guest! <laughs> Your 
You can paint with all the colors of the wind. Includes the Disney bounding work from home episode edition whatever you want to call it please give this a thumbs up if you liked it let me know down in the comments if you were able to figure out all four princesses before I revealed who they were and also if you decide to Disney bound um, please tag me at my socials which are in the description but I will pop up my Instagram right here so you can tag me. Um, as you can see it's quite simple a lot of the stuff we already own at home so it's really fun to kind of go through your closet and see and kind of make outfits that resemble these characters and um, a lot of the stuff I already had um, but for some of the stuff that I did get um like accessories and stuff i will put in the description where you can get those um so you can also if you want to replicate any of the particular princesses i tried i'd also be interested to know down in the comments if you would be interested to see a disney villains disney bounding work from home edition because i always think that that would be really fun like i'd love to do cruella de vil hades from hercules ursula she's my girl um they're just the villains are so cool and i think as you grow up you realize that you're more than than the princesses awkward but if you would like to see that let me know down in the comments i've had so much fun and it has brought me a little bit of that disney magic back because i'm really missing being able to go to the parks and i'm sure all of you guys are too so it kind of gave me the warm and fuzzies of being back at the park. And guys, you know the drill. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, smash that notification bell. And please comment. I love to read your comments. And if you haven't done so already, please like and share. I want to spread my health and fitness journey to a wider audience because I know that there are people out there who are just looking to get started and need someone fighting in their corner and if I can be that person, I want to be that person. So please like and share. And I think that that covers everything until my Sunday check-in because remember, uh, check-ins have now moved to Sunday so be sure to check in on Sundays for the check-in. And um... Yeah, I love you all my kishlings. Bye!